Welcome, Welcome to, to East, East Lansing, Lansing, Michigan. I'm Adrian Lau. And I'm Maggie Garrett with Rooted Real Estate of Greater Lansing and Remax Real Estate Professionals. Today, we're gonna give you a tour of East Lansing and everything that it has to offer. Downtown East Lansing is truly the heart of East Lansing. Located directly across from campus, downtown is home to countless bars, restaurants, and specialty shops. Downtown boasts numerous high-rise apartments and condos as well. Perfect for those who are looking for non-stop action and walkability. Every fall, East Lansing and campus fills up with more than 45,000 students, bringing a vibrancy and optimism to the entire town. Michigan State University is a sprawling 5,200-acre campus with stately old buildings and bustling student life. Connecting campus to the community are numerous parks and trail systems, including the Northern Tier Trail, linking many of the neighborhoods to downtown. The Hannah Community Center is located just north of downtown. This community gem features year-round activities with an indoor pool with a water slide, a theater, gyms, a fitness center, and many outdoor activities as well, such as soccer and basketball. A unique feature for a community of its size, East Lansing is home to an aquatic center, open from Memorial Day to Labor Day every year. There is a zero entry pool, three water slides, diving boards, concessions, and more. The East Lansing schools are the center of many community activities, and all of the elementary schools were rebuilt since 2018 and maintain a small neighborhood school feel. The styles and architecture of East Lansing are as diverse as the community. No matter if you're looking for a high-rise condo, sprawling ranch, or historic home, East Lansing has something for everyone. Across the street from campus, you will find Chesterfield Hills, Glen Karen, and Bailey neighborhoods that are home to beautiful tree-lined streets and historic architecture. Sprinkled throughout the neighborhood, you will find fraternities and sororities as well as other student housing options. These neighborhoods are part of a rental overlay district, which means that no new rental licenses can be issued. You'll love walking to downtown, campus, the farmer's market, and perhaps most importantly, the football games. Located north of Saginaw, the Pinecrest area encompasses several smaller neighborhoods, including Shaw Estates, Chartwell, Tamarisk, and the Stone Lake condos. All of these smaller neighborhoods are walkable to the Robert L. Green Elementary School that is the heart of the community. Another feature of the Pinecrest area is its connectedness to nature. Walk across a bridge in the Tamarisk neighborhood to the Northern Tier Trail, where you will take an outdoor adventure all the way to campus. In the past, the community has held celebrations at Henry Fine Park that have included Halloween parties with trick-or-treating for the younger community members. Informally known as Old White Hills, many of these stately homes were built by Fred White in the 1960s. It is common to find large lots, an abundance of space for entertaining, and mid-century architectural features. White Hills Elementary School is located within the neighborhood, and this is a popular spot for gazing at holiday lights in the wintertime. If you are looking for newer construction, there are two neighborhoods you might want to consider. Hawk Nest is located at the far north end of East Lansing and was built with narrow streets and large front porches to encourage slow traffic and community connectedness. The white picket fences and tidy communal spaces, such as a neighborhood park and trail, create a sense of community throughout the entire neighborhood. Located just north of Meyer, Abbott Parkside is mostly 1990s built homes with large square footage and lots. All located east of Hagedorn, Walnut Heights, Marble, and Brookfield neighborhoods offer a variety of price ranges, sizes, and style of home. These homes are all located within walking distance of Marble Elementary. No matter if you're moving from across the country or across the pond, we'd love to be your local guides and help you become rooted in our community.